<clears throat> hey Lewis, so this is a video where I have all the answers to Butcher 3 in that I can keep him honest with the uh, army that I am playing. However, he dictates the way I play the game so much that I'm really constrained and restricted. And that's more of what I want to show in this video. And I want to talk about Butcher 3 and the threat that he opposes to my army that I feel decent about playing into him. Um, so, he's got Butcher 3 with his dogs. He's got three Warjacks and a bunch of minimum unit Winter Guard infantry riflemen with rockets attached to them. Then a field gun and uh, just some other random stuff, solos, guard dog, artillery, uh, Joe, some Chaos A Eliminators. And I've got a whole bunch of Jacks, Manticore, Imperatus, and Virus 2. And the thing is, is I can... With any two or three of these jacks, I can probably kill Butcher 3. If Imperatus or Manicore get to him, they'll probably kill him by himself. And that's because I have a spell called Synergy that allows me to get my light jacks to really good values. So it's very limiting in where he can go and where Butcher 3 can do. Uh, this is an unusual army for someone like Butcher 3. Because usually there's about three or four models in an army that Butcher 3 can kill himself. And then those two or, two or three models are usually the only ones that can actually kill Butcher 3. Because on his feet turn, warrior models can't charge him, so they usually have a hard time getting to him. Because everything within five inches of him gets blended into oblivion. And usually he can position himself so that things farther away can't charge him because of his feet. However, Warjacks can charge him and get, to, get him there. Also, the Battle Mages can pull him. So I go first. Uh, more background on what my dude can do. All my stuff can see through forests, except for the battle mages. They can see through forests. I can, can give them Pathfinder, or they natively have Pathfinder to move through the forest freely. So I can really abuse terrain. So what my opponent does is he moves up very passively, kind of just gets his stuff in position. Nothing's in range for me to do polling. His character bonded jack. Uh, it has boundless charge, can go through the forest, and also can't be targeted by spells, which is a big deal because my battle mages can't drag him across the board and kill him. Also, this big giant clamshell jack can't be pushed or pulled, which is a huge advantage. So, to my turn, I just move around pretty passively, pop deceleration, so I'm really hard to kill with guns. And um, my thing is is that Imperatus, Manicor, and Byros 2, these three jacks, None of them are within 17 inches of Butcher himself, who's behind that giant warjack. You can see his axe waving around in the air over there. And the reason why none of them are within 17 inches of Butcher is I just don't want... I don't know. I, I'm so damaged by that crazy psychopath. Because even if he did come in and kill him, I'm just worried he just blunders my entire army. Um, how Butcher gets that distance is he's speed 5 with 2-inch reach, so on the charge of 3 inches, he can hit something that's 10 inches away. However, he has a spell called Energizer that moves him 2 inches forward, so now 10 inches is 12 inches. Then he has another spell called Impending Doom, where models within 5 of him get pulled to him. So that 12 inches, if he's within 5 inches of someone, um, he can bring them in 5 inches, so that becomes 17 inches. And they all get sucked to him. And then he has a spell called Bl Flashing Blade, where he makes a melee attack against everything in his melee range. And he's a Mat 9, POW 16 Weapon Master with a spell that can make him POW 18 Weapon Master. It's straight dice, three dice against all these things, and he needs threes to hit. It's really, really bad for me. Uh, he just, he blenders everything he touches in this game, if he, if he so chooses to go in. So I kind of play passively. This griffin over here is in melee range of that juggernaut. And that's about it. He can get some more shots on. You can already see he's spreading out around me. I have to keep all my stuff in control, so I don't want to go too crazy. And he spreads his stuff even farther out to contest the scenario. He's got a big, giant concave around me. Sorry for all that. Juggernaut came in, failed to kill this griffin. This war dog that's part of Butcher's unit is right in the way of that griffin. So if I want to score this zone, I have to somehow get rid of that war dog. And he's got a clamshell jack that's super annoying right here. 
and then just dudes everywhere. Also, I can't pull in Butcher because he's got his character beast in front of him who can't be, or his character Jack in front of him that can't be targeted by spells. So, what I do, whoops, Imperatus goes and kills that Juggernaut over there. Uh, Griffins kill some dogs. And Manicor and Griffins almost kill that Clamjack. And I run over here with this Griffin and charge and kill a few Winter Guard to contest this flag. And Virus 2 pops feet. And also Silas scores this flag. This is significant because my feet is anytime something of mine dies, I get to move three inches. And I would not be able to play this aggressively if it was not for my feet. Because what could happen right now is his character Jack can come screaming across the board and kill some stuff over here. And then Butcher can come over here, get to right about that spot right there, pull in all these models, those three Griffins, those two Battle Mages and Imperatus, and just blender them all. Blender them, blender them, blender them, just buy flashing blades until they're all dead. Pop feet, get six focus, and be so, so, so stinking hard to kill. And he will have just annihilated half the map. However, because of my feet, as soon as I see him start to do that, I can move Imperatus, the key model on this side of the board, three inches away so that he uh, might not be in the impending doom range because uh, his character Jack has to move in order for Butcher. Well, no, he could energize her and get him out of the way. But once Butcher's in his final place, I can bring Manicor or Virus or another model over to him with my feet movements as he kills other things and potentially kill Butcher um, the following turn after that. So, yeah. Basically, he sits here and swears in Russian uh, for about 30 minutes trying to figure out what to do and how to handle my feet, and he makes the right decision to back up. Instead of taking bait, he runs a whole bunch of stuff in, he bulldozes some stuff out of the zone, scores the zone, scores that flag, kills Silas, so I don't score that flag, and yeah, he just he kills some stuff and pushes some stuff around, and he gets his character Jack, and he gets Butcher himself to safety, where I can't kill him anymore. And then this is where I mess up. I was playing really good up until then. I killed that clamshell jack. And then instead of moving my key piece, my mana core, behind this forest where it'd be safe, I just kind of left him there. He might not have been safe anyways, though, because Butcher could have charged this battle mage, energized her two inches over to this position, and pulled in both Imperatus and mana core, and just probably obliterated my entire army at that point. Instead, he plays the safe route, and shoots down a whole bunch of stuff and takes um, his character Jack and runs him and charges him in here and hoses Manicore and a bunch of other Jacks. I should have moved Manicore behind that forest. I was an idiot. So yeah, that's what the board looks like now. Really, really sad for me. I should have a Manicore and some Griffins still, but I don't. He scored a lot of zones and it's basically over for me. Butcher never had to get into the game, but I wanted to show what what made me play the way I did and how come I didn't spread across the board and how come I didn't play more aggressively. And yeah, it's just, it's really rough. Butcher three is super good because all my stuff is armor 18 defense 12. He's a mat nine. So he needs threes to hit and he can be a pow 18 weapon master, meaning he's rolling three dice against them. And it's straight dice since it's a pow 18. Well, 16 base, but 18 with uh, his, his strength spell and yeah that's just straight dice three dice he's killing all my light jacks in three hits and he's killing manacore in three hits and imperatus in about four or five but because he's doing flashing blades he's doing it against them all the whole way so yeah it's he's super super scary um the winter guard in this list are mainly here to do some damage and just get in the way so that butcher three can do what butcher three wants to do i really like this list i really like this game let me know if you have questions. Um, Butcher 3 is a super fun model to play. He didn't get involved here in the game, but my goodness, he just have fun with him. You will have so much fun with him.